A reading from the New Testament, book of Ephesians, chapter 6. You're watching The Critical G. Welcome to The Critical G. It is Friday the 19th of April 2013, and this is a reading from the New Testament, book of Ephesians, chapter 6. I was inspired to read it after listening to Amanda Thatcher, granddaughter of the late Baroness Margaret Thatcher, read um, a portion from this chapter at her funeral. So Amanda Thatcher read verses 10 to 18. I looked it up and I thought, it's such a good chapter, why not just read the whole thing? It's only uh, 24 verses. So here we go. Book of Ephesians, chapter 6. Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honour thy father and mother, which is the first commandment with promise, that it may be well with thee, and thou mayest live long on the earth. And ye fathers, provoke not your children to wrath, but bring them up in the nurture and admonition of the Lord. Servants, be obedient to them that are your masters according to the flesh, with fear and trembling, in singleness of your heart, as unto Christ, not with eye service as men pleases, but as the servants of Christ, doing the will of God from the heart, with good will doing service as to the Lord and not to men, knowing that whatsoever good thing any man doeth, the same shall he receive of the Lord, whether he be bond or free. And ye masters, do the same things unto them, forbearing threatening, knowing that your master also is in heaven, neither is there respect of persons with him. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord, and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armour of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armour of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all, to stand. Stand, therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked, and take the helmet of salvation, and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints, and for me, that utterance may be given unto me, that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel, for which I am an ambassador in bonds, that therein I may speak boldly, as I ought to speak. But that ye may also know my affairs, and how I do, Tychicus, a beloved brother and faithful minister in the Lord shall make known to you all things, whom I have sent unto you for the same purpose, that ye might know our affairs, and that he might comfort your hearts. Peace be to the brethren, and love with faith, from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Grace be with all them that love our Lord Jesus Christ in sincerity. Amen. So while I'm here with the microphone set up and everything, why not try and read the same passage, Ephesians 6, verses 10 to 18, in a couple of other languages? It's a really nice passage, and of course, being Bible, it's translated into every language under the sun. So here's my first attempt in uh, German. So it's just the standard Lutheran translation, book of Ephesians, chapter 6, verses 10 to 18, or shall we say 10 bis 18. Zuletzt, meine Brüder, seid stark in dem Herrn und in der Macht seiner Stärke. Zieht an den Harnisch Gottes, dass ihr bestehen könnet gegen die listigen Anläufe des Teufels. Denn wir haben nicht mit Fleisch und Blut zu kämpfen, sondern mit Fürsten und Gewaltigen, nämlich mit den Heeren der Welt, die in der Finsternis dieser Welt herrschen, mit den bösen Geistern unter dem Himmel. Um deswilligen ergreifet den Harnisch Gottes, auf dass ihr an dem bösen Tage Widerstand tun und alles voll ausrichten und das Feld behalten möget. So steht nun, umgütet an euren Lenden mit Wahrheit und angezogen mit dem Panzer der Gerechtigkeit. 
und an den Beinen gestiefelt, als fertig, zu treiben des Evangelium des Friedens. Vor allen Dingen aber ergreife den Schild des Glaubens, mit welchem ihr auslöschen könnt alle feurigen Pfeile des Bösewichtes. Und nehme den Helm des Heils und das Schwert des Geistes, welches ist das Wort Gottes. Und betet stets in allem Anliegen mit Bitten und Flehen im Geist, und wache dazu mit allem Anhalten und Flehen für alle Heiligen. So, next language I'll try is in Afrikaans. So this is from the Neva Testament, uh, verses 10 tot 18. Eindelijk, mijn broeders, word krachtig in die Heere en in die kracht van sy sterkte. Trek die volle wapenrusting van God aan, zodat so jylle staande kan bly tegen die liste van die duivel. Want ons worstelstrijd is nie tegen vlees en bloed nie, maar tegen die overhede, tegen die machte, tegen die wereldheerseers van die duisnis van hier die eeuw, tegen die bose geeste in die licht. Daarom neem die volle wapenrusting van God op, zodat so jylle weerstand kan bied in die lach van onheil, en, nadat jylle alles volbring het, staande kan bly. Staan dan vast, jylle lendene met die waarheid omgord, met die borswapen van die gerichtigheid aan, en as kunne aan jylle vitte die bereidheid vir die evangelie van vrede, behalwe dit alles neem die skuld van die geloof op waarmee jylle al die vierige pijle van die bose sal kan uitblis en neem aan die helm van verlossing en die swaard van die gees, dit is die woord van God. Terwyl jylle met alle gebed en smeking by elke geleentheid bid in die gees, en juist daartoe waak met alle volharding en smeking vir al die heiliges. So that was Afrikaans. Uh, let's try in Italian. Okay, um, I only have a smattering of Italian, so we'll see how we go. Uh, so, dieci to, what's it, ot, ot, diciotto. Dieci to diciotto. Del rimanente fortificatevi nel Signore e nella forza della sua possanza. Rivestitevi della completa armatura di Dio, onde possiate star salli contro le insedie del diavolo poiché il combattimento nostro non è contro sangue e carne, ma contro i principati, contro la protesta, contro i dominatori di questo mondo di tenebre, contro le forze spirituali della malvagità che sono nei luoghi celesti. Perciò prendete la completa armatura di Dio, affinché possiate resistere nel giorno malvagio e dopo aver compiuto tutto il dover vostro restare in pie. State dunque saldi avendo presa la verità a cintura dei fianchi, essendovi rivestiti della corazza della giustizia, e calzati i piedi della prontezza che, la, che dà l'Evangelo della pace, prendendo oltre a tutto ciò, la, ciò lo scudo della fede, col quale potrete spegnere tutti i dadi infocati del maligno. Prendete anche l'elmo della salvezza e la spada dello spirito, che è la parola di Dio, orando in ogni tempo per lo Spirito, con ogni sorta di preghiere e di supplicazioni, e da questo vegliando con ogni perseveranza e supplicazioni per tutti i santi. So that was Italian, and finally let's have a go at Hebrew. So Hebrew translation of the New Testament. Ephesians 6 verses 10 to 18, Eser ad Shmone Esre, or Shmona Asa. Softa varechai, chisku be adonenu uv oz gvurato, livshu klein neshek Elohim le maan tuchlu amod neged nichlei ha satan, ki lo im basar vadam milchama lanu, ki im sarim veshalitim, im hamoshlim becheshkat ha olam haze, im haruchot haraot asher bemeromim. Al ken echezu bichlei neshek Elohim l'maan tuchlu lakum bayom hara u l'malei tzvachem v'la'amod. Imdu na chagurei ha'emet b'tmotnechem v'levushim shiryon ha'tzedek, v'raglechem mun'alot liot mukhanim l'vsorat ha'shalom. V'al ken ele 
תפסו את מגן האמונה אשר תוכלו לחפות בו את חיצי הרשע הדולקים, וקחו את כובע הישועה וחרב הרוח שידבר האלוהים, והתמידו בכל עת בתפילה ותחנונים ברוח ושקדו והתאמצו להעתיר יחד בעד כל הקדושים. So those are my readings in uh, English, German, Afrikaans, Italian, and Hebrew. So uh, it's a really lovely passage. I do quite enjoy reading the Bible, Old Testament and New Testament, and I hope you've enjoyed this reading as well. So if you have anything to say, feel free to comment down below, Facebook or Google+. Plus. Like this video, video response, favorite if you really want to. Thanks for watching, and you've been listening to The Critical Gene.